Hey everybody, it's Karen from 50's The New 50 blog and today I'm gonna do um, this really fun palette. Um, we're doing like a no makeup makeup challenge with my team and I am going to show you gals this palette here, um, tell you a little bit about it, how I'm gonna use it. Um, I'll create it and put a little link so that if you wanna go get one, you can. So this is awesome. This is great because a lot of us aren't wearing a ton of makeup right now. Um, but we still want coverage. We still kind of want to blur out some of our uh, fine lines, sunspots, age spots, that kind of stuff, get a little glow. So let me show you what I'm using. All right, so in my palette here is I actually have a contour, and there are two different contour shades that you can use to do this depending on your skin tone. I use Walnut, but you can also use Aspen, and we're gonna use that like a primer. Right, so I'm gonna take this uh, kind of more condensed end of my uh, blush and bronzer brush, and I'm gonna brush it into my Walnut, and I'm gonna put it on kind of just all over because I'm using it almost like just a primer. Um, it's not gonna put down a ton of color, but it is going to kind of blur out and cancel out some of my redness, some of my under eye discoloration. It actually will even hit, especially if I take my finger and apply it, these darker spots and just kind of blend them out where I have some moles. And it's just going to go on really nice. It's also going to kind of blur out a lot of my pores that I have. Can you see that? That's easy. So, and it feels great. I am going to take um, a smaller end of this brush here, this, and I'm going to put it on my eyelids because I want to cancel out and I almost, almost want to use it like an eyelid primer um, and just kind of blend together some of the discoloration I have. So that's it. Walnut. All right. So that is using all over kind of like a primer, like a no makeup base either Walnut, which is what I use because of my skin tone, or you can use Aspen. All right, so next in my little no makeup makeup um, compact, I have this highlight color. Um, there's several of them that you can use. I like cinnamon, it kind of works with my skin tone, but there are some of the darker um, highlight shades that you can use to do this, and I'm just gonna use it to kind of warm up my skin, almost like a bronzer. So I'm gonna grab that blush and bronzer brush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of warmth up here on my forehead where I would naturally have some sun hit on my cheeks, highest part of my cheeks, right? I'll just blend that in down my nose, kind of along here. And then you can take this fluffy end and really just kind of buff that out and soften out that warm color. You can also put a little bit down your neck you, so this next step you can or can't do, it doesn't really matter, but I have linen in here, which I love. So linen is one of our lighter highlights. What I love about linen is that it is such a neutral highlight that you can mix it with any other highlights to really get um, just a softer or a lighter tone. But I'm going to use it just as is, and I'm just going to do just a little bit of brightening. Just a little bit, um, kind of just right, I mean, when I say a little, look at that, I'm using that. Just a little bit, put just a little bit up here. And this is just gonna kinda just add a little bit of brightness to the center of my face, underneath my eyes, just kinda right here above my cheekbones. Bring that all the way out. Now you'll notice that for my situation, my face, I don't bring my brightener right up underneath my eyes because I do have pretty good um, under eye puffiness. So I just like to bring it down just a little bit and let underneath my eye be more. So just a little bit of brightener, not a whole lot, but just kind of down along the side of your nose and under your eye. Um, and that's a little bit of linen. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some lip and cheek. And this is one of my favorites for fall. Um, it looks so dark, but it's so gorgeous. It's sandstone. And I'm just going to tap just a little bit right above my cheekbones. I think I'll grab this end of my Best Blend Forever. And you can see I don't have any contour on today, but just by adding just a little bit of color to my cheeks, a little bit of warmth with that cinnamon, 
Let's put some on our lips too, don't forget. <laughs> Easy, easy. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup, and then the next thing I'm going to show you is I love, love, love this, this powder illuminator. So I'll tell you what it is, and I'll show you in a sec. So just shake up your setting spray. Give your face a good spritz, and just let that dry. You know, just let it dry so it sets your makeup. I mean, geez, Louise, I barely have any makeup on today, so this is just, just an extra setting and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a little bit of this Georgia powder illuminator. And um, I'll show you how pretty that looks. All right, so I'm going to pick up that Best Blend Forever brush. I love this brush for the powder illuminators, even the cream illuminators. I'm just going to swirl a little in and then just kind of put this right up above. And as you noticed, I put this on after I sprayed with my setting spray. Can you see a little bit of glimmer? Put a little bit up here even down my nose, just a little bit of extra sheen, a little bit of extra shimmer. Hey, getting up close and personal, but look it. That's no, no foundation, no contour, just walnut, cinnamon, a little bit of linen, sandstone on my lips and cheeks. Um, remember I had used some of this walnut contour on my eyelids. Well, I'm going to put a little bit more on and show you. You can use it as an eyelid primer also as a base to a really quick eyeshadow look. So I just have these three shades right here. Uh, this is Sabrina Basic, and I really like this. This is a spiced cream, and I'm gonna use it just to kind of line my eyes really quick. So let's just grab an eyeshadow, br eyeshadow brush, tap into that Sabrina. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the inside of my eye. Let's get a little pop there, okay? And then I'm gonna take um, the Basic, and I'm going to bring that from the outside and bring that in. That's kind of like my main shade. And just kind of work that up. And then where those two meet in the middle, we'll just kind of give it a little extra swirl so there's no hard, hard edges. This Basic and Sabrina is just, just a really great neutral eyeshadow palette. Just a little two-piece eyeshadow palette that anybody can wear. You get a little bit of the shimmer from the Sabrina, the brightness and the pop in the center of your eyes, and that basic is just a great neutral. And then combining it with either Walnut or Aspen that you had already used as like a primer on your face and your eyelids, you're good to, good to go. So I am going to put a little bit of the Spiced uh, Cream. It is a cream. We have a few cream eyeshadows, and this one I really like. I like spiced. Um, I like to use it almost like an eyeliner. So um, let me grab a different brush, and I'll show you. Grab that multitasker brush. I'm actually going to dip in with the flat end of that brush and just kind of come in right underneath my eye. Almost kind of start and bring that down. And then I will go right along those lashes just to darken that up a little bit and add a little emphasis. Easy. What do you guys think? I think that's a great eyeshadow palette. Really, really pretty, really easy. That's my no makeup makeup look. I do have some fake eyelashes on though, so. <laughs> but you can put some mascara on. All right, let me go ahead and link up this whole palette for you. It's one that everything is in stock. You can pick and choose all of it, or you can just add the whole thing to your cart, or you can pick and choose individual pieces. So I'm using walnut, cinnamon, linen, sandstone, Georgia, powder illuminator, um, Sabrina, basic, and spiced. And you would get this compact for free if you got it at all. And then some of these great brushes. I'll also put the brushes, and um, I'll do a little graphic and link them up too. So have a great Monday, everybody. And... Uh, Get a little makeup on. <laughs> Talk to you soon.